episode one. All right, guys, I guess this is my 15th subscriber special. I hope you're not too disappointed. How do I get started? How do you learn to cook? How do you start? How do you learn to do what you do? Here in Portland, we've got a great selection of used bookstores, uh, especially Powell's. Uh, so I was gonna start working in kitchens and at a higher level. Not that I'm like a great cook or anything, but uh, I was like, I, I want to learn how to do it right. So I went on to Powell's and I grabbed this. <laughs> this is a, I mean, this is a textbook, literally. This is a Cordon Bleu textbook for cooking. And inside you got all kinds of recipes and just information about different kind of food and you know just almost everything you could ever hope to learn but it just kind of gives you straightforward textbook style literally so if you want to kind of expand that I recommend this uh, Harold the Gee is like a kitchen scientist. He's amazing. Uh, in his other book, uh, The Science of Cooking, he explains why these interactions happen with food. And uh, in this one, he explains how to use those to your advantage, essentially. So your food comes out nice. If that works for you, great. So, you know, books, TV, more YouTube. But moving on. Besides how to learn how to do it, what do you need? What are the fundamental tools? What equipment can I start off with? What equipment do I need? If I'm moving into an empty kitchen with nothing, what things do I need to get started now? I think everybody's got their fair share of kitchen junk. <laughs> And, okay, maybe not junk, but tools you only use every couple months, year, you don't need all that. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number one. A knife. Like this one. This one's from Ikea. 25 bucks. And, uh... I love it. It's perfectly fine. You can buy super expensive ones, uh, you, and they'll probably last longer and be sharper and whatever else. But because I am poor, $25. Ikea. Love it. Now, with a chef's knife, you can accomplish a lot. You can mince things, you can mash things, you can slice things, you can dice things. Isn't that crazy? Um, optional number one additional is a paring knife. Now, a paring knife is small, uh, so you can do all the things that your big knife can't accomplish easily. Number two, a non-stick pan. I use this red copper and nothing sticks to this. If you get a nice non-stick pan that is heat proof and sturdy. Like, I love these rivets. I mean, you can cook almost anything in this. Uh, and if you season it and treat it well, a pan like this is gonna last you a long time. Not necessarily this one. You can get, they have all the new granite rock pans and whatever. I'm sure any of those are great. This is the one my mom bought me. Thanks, mom. Number three. Three. Cutting board. A cutting board. This is a cutting board. And this might sound ridiculous, but they're meant for cutting on. <laughs> and made of this kind of plastic PVC material is crucial. You can buy three packs of these that come in different colors, so you're not cross-contaminating. So you can use one for meat 
one for chicken specifically, one for veggies. Uh, you know, in my restaurant we have a blue one just for fish, and then a white one is all purpose, and then green is just veggies. So those are knife, nonstick pan, cutting board. So now that we've gone over the essentials, let's talk about some of the stuff that isn't necessarily essential. What I have here is, what I have here used to be the contents of my kitchen junk drawer. So let's go through some of this. A mandolin slicer. You thin, accurate cuts every time. Handy? Yes. Useful? Yes. Various assorted funnels. It's a spatula. It's a spoon. It's both? Basting brushes. Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Measuring spoons. A funky pink whisk. A garlic mincer. A garlic masher. Line bottle openers. Different bottle openers. Wooden thing. Tiny whisk. Cheese slicer. Knife owner. This cast iron skillet. Tongs. Soup ladle. A pasta scoop. This kind of scoopy spoon thing. A slap chop. Instant read digital thermometer. A laser sided infrared thermometer. A wok. Some nice scissors. A lemon juicer. Selection of various other knives. And various spatulas. <laughs> Cute little cast iron skillet. A cocktail shaker. This little collapsible collar. A slightly bigger collapsible colander. Even bigger still. Collapsible colander. A magic bullet. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. Before anybody comments, I'll work on the shadow thing. Why do I look so sweaty? Maybe in the next episode I should actually cook some food. For additional reading, here are some of my favorite cookbooks. How do you make it look so easy? So anyway guys, that's um, it for this one. Just get your equipment ready. Episode two, we're gonna really cook some food. Probably. All right guys, like and subscribe. Comment below what I should cook in the next episode, because I have no idea.